Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Targaryen here once again bringing you another episode of Lore League of Legends. We're leaving Demacia for the moment and heading into the home of the fierce greedy pirates, Bilgewater. This means that I'll talk about Gangplank, the Saltwater Scourge, and Miss Sarah Fortune, the Bounty Hunter. Enjoy. For the people of Bilgewater, money means a lot. When the population of the Blue Flame Island had started to grow rapidly, the island itself was unable to provide food for everyone. That has led to rapid growth of trade. The calm sea had been crowded with multiple trading vessels, transporting resources over to the mainland. The Bilgewater itself was a vital trading post for many sailors. Many nations would just accept the fact as a result of advancement, but that was not the case with the people of Bilgewater. For them, it was an opportunity. Trade vessels were rarely protected, and because of that, they were an easy goal for pirates of all sorts. This caused a rapid growth of the city. In such environments, owning a ship was a clear sign of one's status and wealth. Many sailors had struggled for their whole lives and failed in the end. Young Sarah Fortune, however, certainly knew her way. At the age of 16, she had become famous for her talent with solving difficult cases that no one else could even touch. The combination of her beauty, charm and marksmanship have etched a name for her as a legend amongst bounty hunters. Not long after starting her career, Sarah could afford to buy her own ship and a loyal crew that would follow her even into oblivion. This has been achieved not only by the money and misfortune had been paying to everyone, but also her flirtatious attitude. She would often leave her crew members with just a little bit of hope to get closer with their captain, and so she was easily able to manipulate them. Not so fortunately though, a few months after acquiring her own vessel, piracy on the seas surrounding the Blue Flame Island had increased vastly. It was not a problem for her ship, as it was armed enough to defend itself. However, presence of pirates on the seas had increased numbers of crimes committed on the island as well. When Sarah returned home one day, she had found the doors to her house cracked open, with her mother laying dead on the ground, drowning in her own blood. Driven by fury, she rushed into the house and had been knocked unconscious before even realising what had happened. The last thing that she could see were the red eyes of her attacker and face covered in a bandana. Since that moment, Miss Fortune had developed a passionate hatred for pirates and people alike to them. She had stopped chasing after every bounty she was offered, instead focusing on chasing pirates down, hoping to find the one that had murdered her mother. With her natural charm, she's managed to get many captains on her side, making her not only a famous pirate hunter, but also a political figure of sorts, which was not an easy job when you talk about a city-state like Bilgewater. One of her main political opponents is Gangplank, one of the few captains who still resists her seductions. Surprisingly enough, despite many differences, Miss Fortune and Gangplank agree on many things, as they both want to see Bilgewater grow into one strong and unified nation. They do not seem to agree on the methods that should be used, though. The conflict doesn't seem to get anywhere near end, as Miss Fortune has many followers amongst captains, but Gangplank is a legend amongst all the sea dogs, and as such, he can't be ignored. Being a son of a dead pirate captain, Vincent the Shadow, he was always brought up in a harsh, brutal way. His father was always feared and respected, he'd owned his own fleet of pirate ships, he was also the wealthiest captain on the seas surrounding Valoran. Not many have been brave enough to stand up against the man, not with his reputation. Some say that he was able to summon dark forces and bend them to his will. Is any of that true? It's, it's rather difficult to say. Many would expect Gangplank to uh, be raised up in luxury, but that is not something very common in pirate culture. Even the fact that Vincent acknowledged the existence of his son was something that not just everyone could expect. His son was sailing with Vincent on the same ship, and he was treated just like one of the crew members. Sometimes, even more harsh than that. Gangplank was supposed to grow to be a tough man, an even tougher captain, and Vincent would not hold back to achieve his goal. As he grew, Gangplank was gaining more and more reputation that he'd been often compared to that of his father, and rightfully so. Vincent wanted his son to show no mercy, no compassion. He didn't want to bring up a good man, he wanted Gangplank to become a ruthless captain, and he got his wish. When Gangplank shoved a grog so cutlass between his ribs, some of the crew members even say that the old man died with a smile on his face. Claiming the flagship of his father, the Deadpool, 
and Gangplank was intended to continue his father's work, terrorizing the seas of Valor and gathering treasure that he could later use to secure his future. His plans were, however, interrupted by the creation of the League of Legends. With Bilgewater accepted into the League, its seas were now protected by the Summoners, and as such were too dangerous to work in. That had caused Gangplank to move towards politics, where he wanted to use his reputation to gain significance. He has volunteered as a champion and representative of the city-state, quickly joining the League alongside his longtime opposition, Misfortune. Presence on the field of justice has allowed him to not only boost his reputation further, it is said that Gangplank is revered enough to be able to claim title of the Pirate King, and it's only a matter of time before he does just that. And once again, that's all we've prepared for you this time around, but don't worry, videos are being worked on all the time, and as always, there'll be an annotation in this video that you can use to watch all the previous load videos. And as always, I'll see you next time.